Hi, it's mom. I just wanted to uh, leave my message before it got crowded here. Uh, you'll be getting married in about 10 minutes and I just wanted to tell you both how very, very much you are loved. And um, we are so proud of you. You worked so hard to get to this day and um, it's time to celebrate the two of you. We love you very much. <laughs> I know you don't need me, but I see you and me, we can make it happen, be my forever babe. This is Grandma. It seems like just yesterday you were a little toehead running around, and here you are today getting married to the love of your life. Shannon, I'm so happy to have you part of the family, and I look forward to a lot of happy times together. Love you both. Congratulations, and happy life. It's a gift of unconditional love and acceptance. It's a gift that God has given us, and in turn, we can extend that gift to others. You are choosing to love each other. You're choosing to invest in learning about the other person, even though you've known each other since childhood. You're choosing to push down and into the root of the situation, a problem, a circumstance. You're choosing to push down to get to the core of it so that you can find a new way through it as a couple. You guys are choosing to do the hard work. I've seen that and I appreciate it. What I find most beautiful about your love story is that you both are so different yet you complement each other and you bring out the best in each other. Sam, what Shannon loves about you is that you are caring, funny, level-headed. You encourage her and you remind her why she does what she does. You propel her to keep moving forward, working hard towards your future together. Shannon says, he melts me in a way that she can't stay mad at him. And so I call that the Shannon Whisperer. Yeah. Yes, so, Shannon, what Sam loves about you is that you are caring, compassionate, funny, the life of the party, you move him out of his comfort zone. You genuinely care about people. Sam says he's not an emotional guy, but you bring out more compassion and understanding towards others. And I call that the Sam Whisperer, you know? <laughs> so really the bottom line is you both soften each other for the betterment of each other. So Sam, will you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, and honor her? Keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. Sam, your response is, I will. I will. Shannon, will you take this man to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? 
Will you love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Shannon, your response is, I will. Shannon, there's little that I can say in my vows that you have not already heard. You know how much I love to talk. You are my best friend. <laughs> you are my best friend, Shannon, and that was true long before we chose to start this journey. I vow to love you unconditionally and to encourage and support you in everything you do. I promise to respect you as both a person and partner and vow to always share in both your laughter and tears. I will spend every day working to be good enough for your love, and I ask nothing more than for you to always be yourself with me and to know that from this day forward, my heart is entirely yours. You, Buster and Nala, are truly a gift from God, but only time will tell if it was a punishment. <laughs> or a reward. <laughs> All jokes aside, I'm lucky to share and have you as my best friend, and I can't Cannot wait for what's ahead for us. I love you. Sam, there are many things in life that I'm not sure about, but there is one thing that I know for certain. God sent me you because he knew that you were everything I've ever wanted, ever dreamed of, and ever needed. You are my best friend, my better half, and the love of my life. From the second you picked me up in Alabama, I knew that you were the one. I remember calling all my friends that trip and telling them how perfect it was and how I just knew I would marry you one day. I will never forget when Tiffany found out that I was actually in Alabama and Snapchatted me saying, quote, dude, the fact that he flew you out, dot, 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 marry him, <laughs> end quote. I love that I'm able to tell you anything and know that you will always listen. You are truly my best friend, my safe space, my rock. Every day I thank God for sending me, me you. Today I get to make a promise to you, the love of my life, my biggest supporter, and my best friend. I promise to continue to grow with you and to always support your goals and dreams. I promise to never watch an episode of a series that we started watching together without you. Or at least I'll pretend it's the first time we watch it together. <laughs> I promise to fight for you, to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. I promise to keep adventuring with you and always provide the best snacks and music playlists. I promise that no matter where life takes us, to always make you feel at home, safe, and comfortable enough to be yourself. And most importantly, I promise to love you more with each breath, and to love you more each day, and to always make you feel loved. Sam and Shannon. <laughs> because you pledged your love to one another by exchanging these sacred vows and exchanging rings as a symbol of your commitment to this marriage, by the power invested in me, by the state of California, which holds true in Idaho, but most importantly, by our one true God, it is my privilege now to pronounce from this day forward your husband and wife. Sam, you may kiss your bride. for letting me be a part of your big day. I've had a blast and I cannot wait to see how your life goes together. Love you so much. Love, JC. Shannon, you're a wife. What the heck? That went so well. Everything was perfect. You looked hot as hell. Um, uh, we love you so much. It's been amazing. You're the best person ever and I hope you guys live happily ever after. Bye. Hey, Shannon and Sam. I just want to say real quick, that you guys are an awesome couple. Thanks for putting on a great, great show. I know you guys will love each other forever. And uh, I hope you have a great, great, great wedding. Great marriage with surrounded by family and friends. Love you very much. This is Uncle Kevin, by the way. I'll go find Aunt Casey. Love you guys. I 
I've been open for a love like you For a long, long time We got laughed and we got tears For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sam's favorite sister. Well, actually, I'm his only sister. And while we all know how important sisters are, in 2010, Brigham Young University did a study which states having a sister makes you a better person. So Sam, you're welcome. In 2015, you wrote me a letter while at Camp Kairos, and it said, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for always being there for me. From trips, to putting money on my card, to being at all my baseball games, you have been there by my side. Now it's my turn to respond to your letter all these years later. Thank you. Thank you for being my best friend. My therapist who only half listens when I need advice. <laughs> my travel passenger and someone who I know can make me laugh in any awkward situation. I might be the oldest, but I look up to you every day. You, Christopher, and Dad are one of the few heroes in my life. Your hard work, dedication, and take chances lifestyle are just a few of the things that I admire most about you. Sam, you are my best friend and have been since the day you came into this world. Finally, I'll leave you with this. Your gas tank is full and so is your heart. Boise is far, but we'll never part. If you ever get lost, please remember this. I'll always love you. Love your big sis. yourself with and tell all your deepest secrets too. When she loves someone, she loves every part and is loyal until the end. This marriage won't be any different. Going through college, you're like two peas in a pod. She is someone I can always count on to have my back and skip out on sorority events to go grab cocktails with. Her thoughtfulness and generosity will never go unnoticed, and she truly has the ability to light up any room she walks into. I mean, look at her tonight. Shannon has never had a hard time getting men's attention. The harder part was any man being able to get hers. And that is why I know Sam must be a pretty special guy to be able to win her over. Sam is very patient and considerate, and I'll always remember the time when I first met Sam. He paid for Shannon and I's dinner when we went to the bathroom, and I remember thinking, dang, I better find someone who does that for my friends. With Shannon and Sam being my first friends to get married, I am so happy to have them as a perfect example of young love. Shannon and Sam complement each other in the best ways, and it's easy to see how in love they are with each other. I'm honored to be able to call you my friends, and I can't wait to see this new chapter develop. We love you so much and can't wait to see the bright future ahead for you both. Now we have some instructions. Shannon, please put your left hand flat on the table. And Sam, please place your hand on top of hers. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy this moment, Sam, because it is the first and last time in your marriage that you will ever have the upper hand. 